What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's news, oh, it's a tough story to cover. Let me just say it like this. I'm a human being. I'm closer to 40 than I am 30. I've had some life experiences. Some experiences are harder than others. And probably for many adults out there, you know what it's like to leverage bills, leverage finances. And sometimes it's really hard to keep the lights on. Sometimes it's really hard to keep the ship floating. I've had situations and circumstances in my life where I had to let one bill go or potentially let a service completely go just so I could pay something else. And it's never a fun time to have to leverage funds and try to make a dollar out of 15 cents. And unfortunately, Crytek is having similar issues. We all know for the last couple years, Crytek has been having some real financial troubles. They've been unable to pay their uh, employees. Uh, they filed for bankruptcy. And apparently it's getting even worse at Crytek. I'll drop a link in the description. Crytek is closing studios and paying employees late again. Crytek, the developer behind the technically impressive CryEngine toolset, and most recently Robinson the Journey, is laying off employees and closing studios. Workers' paychecks have reportedly been extremely slow to arrive as well. No, you aren't imagining things. The company faced similar circumstances a few years ago, but the bloodletting appears much worse this time out. All of the company's studios will be shuttered by two. Specifically, Crytek's offices in Budapest, Istanbul, Seoul, Sofia, Bulgaria, and Shanghai will be closed. Studios in Frankfurt and Kyiv will remain open. In a press release, co-founder Avni Yerli said, quote, These changes are part of the essential steps we are taking to ensure Crytek is a healthy and sustainable business moving forward that can continue to attract and nurture our industry's top talent, end quote, until it comes time to pay them, apparently. Kotaku reports that employees at the company's main studio in Frankfurt haven't received paychecks in three months, and that offices in Budapest and Sofia have gone without pay as well. The publication sources said that payments have been late all year long and that the management has been incommunicative about the reasons why or when payments will happen. Employees were paid wages for October as of last week, according to Eurogamer, while November pay will supposedly arrive this week. The money may have come from Russia internet company Mail.ru, which is rumored to buy Crytek's free-to-play shooter Warface and its unannounced sequel come January, the publication said. When facing a similar situation in 2014, Crytek sold off its UK studio to Metro Last Light publisher Deep Silver, along with the rights to Homefront the Revolution. The game was shoved into market past May, following additional delays post-purchase. It has a rating of 48 out of 100 on Metacritic and a 3.8 user score, and that's another game that I own that I haven't even really given any, any time to. It's really tough, man. Uh, the funny thing is, right, my aunt years ago started a business, I'm not going to name which aunt, but she started a business and she, it was her and her boyfriend and it was like a telemarketing type of situation and they had a bunch of people, you know, from the neighborhood working there. And my dad got involved and he started working too. And my dad, he, you know, back then he was a very high energy salesperson, very good, uh, you know, speaking to people. He's a great motivational speaker. He could sell ice to Eskimos. That's the kind of person my dad was, just very great and had high energy and is able to just convey points and get people to understand. And so my dad went on to work for my aunt uh, in this telemarketing room and he got people super amped and they were doing very, very well. And all of a sudden, you know, we saw the owners who were my family, my aunt and her boyfriend buying new cars and all this stuff going on. And all these people who were motivated by my father, you know, in the phone room, you know, uh, closing deals, making money, upselling people stuff. And then after a couple of weeks, people were wondering, you know, when are we going to get paid? And it was a big hoopla, man. People were really pissed off. You know, my aunt, you know, everybody was trying to sue her. I think that she went through some things when she went to the bank and tried to make some withdrawals where, you know, the bank called the police. It was just a really crazy and rough situation that occurred. To do that to people who put their trust in you and your product is just, it's really the worst possible thing you can do to your employees. And I feel for these people who've been working hard on different projects at Crytek. It might be in their best interest to close down all these you know, studios, these different locations and focus on one or two just, you know, just until they can get the ship floating again. Obviously, the CryEngine isn't doing as well as they would have liked it to do. Uh, people have moved on to other engines. You know, their games are not doing very well. I haven't even tried Robinson the Journey myself. 
And Crisis is a thing of the past. It was a great game, but no one's really talking about it. Nobody's really amped about possibly a new one. It just seems like at this point, Crytek's business structure is falling apart. I wish them all the luck in the world on their ventures. I hope, you know, for me, any company that's a part of gaming history, I'd like to see them stick around for as long as possible. But, you know, you've got to continually make new and exciting projects. You gotta complete them and you gotta make a profit in order for you to stay relevant and stay out there and for people to continually fund your projects. If you don't do anything for a long time, you make a really nice engine and no one's really interested in it, you fall to the wayside. And unfortunately, that's what's happening here. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think that Crytek will be over and done with? Uh, in the in the coming months, do you think that the company is going to go under for sure? Do you guys think there's a strategy or a way that they can save themselves? Let me know in the comments below because I like personally, I like for them to be saved. I like for them to save the company and come back and do something awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.